Welcome to the VEX Robotics Competition Referee Training Videos, designed for both referees and teams. This is Chapter 3, Safety and Human Interaction. Safety is our number one priority in the VEX Robotics Competition. The last thing anyone would ever want is for someone to get hurt at one of our events. That's why the very first rules in our manual are about safety. That being said, VEX EDR is a safe classroom robotics platform and these robots are designed to be handled by students. So as long as you follow some simple guidelines, there should be no reason for concern. Rule S1 reminds teams that robots and team actions may not damage field elements, scoring objects, or other robots in any way. Robots who do so may be disabled or disqualified, and that robot will require reinspection before being allowed back on the field. It's also important to note that Rule G9 states that drive team members are prohibited from making intentional contact with any scoring object, field element, or robot during a match. Rule G9B clarifies that drive team members are prohibited from breaking the plane of the field perimeter at any time during the match. So in general, human interaction with robots has been pretty severely limited so that we can highlight the capabilities of the robots, their designers, and their programmers. Minor violations of this rule that do not affect the match will result in a warning. Match affecting offenses will result in a disqualification. The only exception is G9A, which is sometimes known as the forgot to turn on your robot rule. Rule G9A states that during the driver controlled period, drive team members may only touch their own robot if the robot has not moved at all during the match. So if you forgot to plug in a battery, plug in a VexNet key or radio, didn't turn your robot on or forgot to start your V5 program, you do have some leeway to fix that here. As always, see the game manual for further details. Please note that during the autonomous period or programming skills matches, no human interaction with robots is permitted whatsoever. That means no repositioning, no turning on or off a robot during autonomous. And finally, when the field is not in use, you may want to put markers on the Alliance towers so that people don't accidentally trip over them. This could be a good use for some game objects from previous years. Again, safety should be a top priority in the VEX Robotics competition, and it is vital that all referees be on the lookout for actions that could potentially be unsafe for our participants. That's all for Chapter 3, so thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other chapters in this referee training series on other specific refereeing topics.